So guys, as y'all may know of what y'all are about to watch, <clears throat> um, there were some confiscations of a argument uh, through Instagram. And so I just took consideration into reporting this because <laughs> considering that this person actually knows where I live, I was kind of more worried against towards my safety and towards my family. So I just took this consideration into reporting all this. And so here you go. Enjoy. Now, is it something she to say it is? But she doesn't really stay up say I'm gonna fucking kill you or something yeah. like that nature. And here's another issue. Um, she would fall under the harassing phone calls or by phone if you wasn't responding to her. Yeah. Constantly did. Um, I, I've been trying to ignore her, but then, but then, I, but then she just got on my nerves, and I just started replying to her messages. Was here by yourself? Uh, no, I live here with my dad and my mom. Okay. Have you ever told them about the situation? Anymore? No, they're they uh, This happened all all at night time. I just yeah, I didn't want them to get worried about it, so I, I just let I just let them go to work. So. So basically, what a cat update is uh, is actually where they um, like keep the report on hold, and if something else happens, uh, I can that, continue yeah. that and push it towards. That way, then we'll do a report or yeah. whatever we need to do as far as that goes. And if she's actually saying, "I'm gonna freaking kill you," I'm gonna come to your house and kill you, stuff like that, and then it might be enough for a TPO. Yeah. If you get enough for a TPO, you can get the TPO five years. Yeah. yeah it, it just it just depends. It just depends on how much she says. Yeah. And if she comes to your house, you know, threatening you or anything, call us. Well, I mean, I could, I could also call, but but then if she starts walking up here, I, don't I still have every right to protect my home, though, too? Not to kill her. Well, no, not not to kill her, just like to run her off. I mean, not. I mean, you can try. I mean, here's the thing: as far as that goes, it's like Jehovah Witnesses. So yeah. You know how they knock on your door. Everybody yeah. really has a right to go walk on this near the door and knock on the door and now just say, hey, let's get off the property and leave. Like, you know, I can't yeah, get them then, for criminal trespass for that time, but if they stay on your property causing problems, yeah, then, call us and let us know. We'll just block her and do things that way. Um, floors and that, you know, for that way. Um, for that way. Uh, and she just come up with a public call and make sure she gets more serious on constantly calling me or, you know, the, making threats, you know, like legit threats, yeah. then we can do a report or whatever we need to do as far as that goes. Okay. Well, well, we originally after uh, we broke up, because after that she just started harassing me. I was going to try to file a, 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 like a report for, like, I, don't, I forgot what that was called, Keep, keeping someone away from you. That's TPO. Yeah. You wouldn't qualify because it has to be like a violence. Or, yeah. Like, if she was threatening to kill you, that still doesn't... Yeah. That's the best thing I can tell you, man. Uh, just ignore, block her, call us if you need us, man. Alright. Anything else I can help you with, brother? That should be it. Hi, buddy. Sorry for it, man. I know it sucks, man. It hey, really it's alright, man. Wait, what's your first name? Dakota, right? No, it's Dustin. Oh, Dustin? Yeah. That's close. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> well, I'll see ya. Oh.